Hello, I'm Jason Huggins, CTO and co-founder at Sauce Labs. I'm here with my co-founder, Steve Hazel, who's the VP of product. And Steve, I heard we have some big news to announce today. Absolutely. Uh, as you know, Sauce Labs has a great history of supporting web browsers and mobile emulators for both manual and automated testing. Uh, today, we're adding support for my new favorite browser, uh, one that I think is going to be really important for the future of the web, uh, and that is Lynx, which is a text-based browser. I think text-based browsing is going to be a big trend in 2013, uh, and it's very important that people be able to test their apps in Lynx. For an end user, this browser is a really streamlined, simplified experience of the web uh, without the distractions of video, images, JavaScript. It's just a really zen, text-only experience that gets down to what's really important uh, and clears away all the distractions. The text browser that we didn't know we needed you know, in 1995, and uh, it's slowly become clear over the past decade and a half. I'm curious which particular frameworks it actually works with. So does it work with Vows? Uh, no. Cucumber? No. RSpec? No. Mocha? Not really. JUnit? Uh, no. Pi.test? No. How do I test Flash with the Lynx browser? Oh, testing Flash with Lynx is really simplified and easy. Flash doesn't run in Lynx, so your Flash apps will all work exactly the same in Lynx as every other Flash app. What about Java applets? Java applets are a key technology for the web. Uh, that Lynx does not support. You'll notice that uh, support for Lynx is lacking in a lot of sites, and it's a really frustrating experience, I think, for the end user. Uh, and so this was really, this was about changing that and uh, getting developers to focus more on supporting Lynx well, so that Lynx users will have a better experience of the web. Wait, you said Lynx users. Well, Lynx user. It's basically just me. Steve Jobs would be proud. I know. <laughs>